And so, like I was saying with this, this is sort of a weird way to initialize age. And classes have this other thing, which is called a constructor. And this is in most classes, and it's the typical way that you initialize variables. So in C sharp, if you don't initialize a variable and then you try to read it, it returns a null error, some sort of null error. Um, so you have to initialize your variables. So the constructor is just the class name, and it's just the class name with some parentheses and then curly braces. It's exactly like a method, but it's the name of the class and it doesn't have a return type. And you can also put parameters in too. So we'll pass in a string name, and then I'm just going to change this to name string so that way we can see what's actually going on. So somebody passes a name string and then we can say that is equal to the name. So we have initialized the variable and then I'm gonna move age into here. Now the thing is, typically these fields will be above the constructor and we're not gonna initialize age here. And why don't we even add an age in so we can say that, sorry, I did this backwards. Wow, been a long day. So name is actually going to equal name string. It's the proper way of doing this. And then age is going to equal age in. So basically, if somebody calls their class and they want to initialize it, they'll have to pass in a name string for the first parameter and then their age for the second. But the nice thing is we initialize these and it's valid to actually go ahead and use these variables anytime we want because we know that they had to have been initialized. And just like we can overload methods, we can overload constructors too. So I'm lazy. So I'm going to just copy this control D as always. So we're going to go ahead and do this. As you can see, we're getting error because again, like method overloading, you have to have different parameters when you're overloading constructor. So let's just say somebody passes a name string and we're at, we're going to move this since we're using less information, it's going to make more sense to do this. We're going to move it above this constructor. So inside of this constructor, we're going to set name equal to name string. And then with this constructor, if somebody were to pass in their age, we're going to call this and we're going to pass in name string. So what this is doing, this, uh, what the colon and this keyword is doing is it's calling the constructor here. And since this is a string that we're passing in and we have a constructor that only takes in a string, it knows go to this constructor, pass this in, and initialize the name string. And that allows us to actually remove this. So again, less repeating of the code um, makes it more maintainable and this is a good practice too. And pretty cool. I haven't seen this in any, any other languages. And the neat thing about constructors is that we can actually set their values to be default. So that way you don't have to necessarily pass in something if you don't have anything. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this, delete this inheritance, and then go back and set name equal to name string. So what I can do here is say that the default agent will be 19. And here's what this will look like. If we were to use this class. All right, so I'm running in some problems here. I had to make the class and the constructor public. I'm not sure if I had to do both, um, but I'm still getting an error. And so it's saying that namespace cannot directly contain members such as fields or methods. Uh, so I take that to mean that I cannot create this object within the namespace. It doesn't want me doing that. So I'm going to just go ahead here and paste this. And we're still getting an error about the namespace, which I just don't understand. So it appears that when you create a file that has a namespace, you can't create any variables within it. So what I'm going to try and do is come over here and use C sharp basic. So we're importing the namespace from this other file, right? And I'm going to go ahead and paste in my object here, which of course it's fine now. So all I wanted to show from that is that I'm able to pass in my name, but not my age, because the age is already a default parameter on the constructor. But I can pass it in and not get any errors either. And it doesn't have to be 19. So I'm just going to say 
So that is all I, you can use the parameter or not. You, it's optional. So possibly one of the most confusing things in programming languages besides the fact that I can't create this object within this file is something called the this keyword. Um, I just think it's possibly one of the hardest things to understand and wrap your mind around. So this is just going to be a brief introduction, but this is a good example. The this keyword refers to the particular object that's being created. So when I go ahead and create this high object, this will refer to that particular object. If I created another one, and it's called by, this will refer to the by object. So it refers to the particular objects basically, and that's pretty much all it is. It's a simple but seemingly complex thing that can be a little bit tricky to wrap your mind around. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the, this keyword. We don't need it now, but we may in the future. Obviously we were using it um, to refer to the other constructor that we had made. 